So guys, today we are going to make two photo frames, one of a heart shape and the other one of a edged circle shape. So in order to make these two photo frames, we have the photos and some text and then here I have gold flakes as well as the silver flake. Then we have got the raisin and the hardener. I also have a few sparkles, pink, gold, silver and green and then the paper cup in order to mix the raisin and ice cream sticks and there are some rose petals which we are going to preserve it in the photo frame and then we have got the weighing machine in which we will weigh our raisin and hardener so yeah that's it now let's start so let's start first I am going to take the raisin and the hardener then mix it Let's first reset the weighing machine. Okay, now let's take the raisin. I'm going to take total 80 grams. So that will be 60 grams of raisin and 20 grams of hardener. Since this is the 3 is to 1 ratio raisin. So 60 gram raisin is done. Now let's take the hard dough which will be 20 grams. Make sure to take the proper measurements so the raisin would cure properly. Okay. So the hardener is also done. Now let's switch off the weighing machine. And now we are going to mix the raisin and the hardener properly. Mixing the raisin and the hardener, make sure to mix it slowly as well as make sure to scrape all the sides properly and also the bottom of the mixing cup so that there will be no leftover parts of raisin and hardener and they will get mixed properly. Mix for a few minutes. So after mixing the raisin and hardener for 4 to 5 minutes, this is how the raisin looks now. And this is the required consistency. So next we are going to pour this raisin into the mold. We are not going to pour the full raisin, only little and then we are going to spread it. Make sure to spread it properly so that it covers the whole mold. Let's pour some more. Since we have covered the whole mold with some reason, we are next going to add the photo. Since the customer wanted the photo on one side, I am just going to put it on the left side. And below that, I am going to put her name like this. Let's adjust the photo. Now the photo is added, what I am going to do is I am going to put some reason in the other cup okay and then we are going to mix this rose petals these rose petals were given me by the customer in order to preserve it in the photo frame so let's do that While adding the rose petals, I'm also going to add some gold flakes. Like this. And also some gold sparkle. 
then we are going to mix it. Once the rose petals and the gold flakes are mixed properly in the resin, we are going to pour this on the right hand side of the frame. After pouring the rose petals, we are going to next pour clear and transparent resin onto the photo. Like this. This time cover the mold fully. Now let's adjust the photo again. Okay now so the first photo frame is ready to be cured. We are going to leave this for 12 to 24 hours and then come back to it again. So now for the second photo frame which is of a heart shape. We are going to mix the resin and the hardener just as before and then we are going to add the photo and the text. So let's start. So for the second photo frame. We are going to take total 120 grams. So that will be 90 grams of resin and 30 grams of hardener. Since this is 3 to 1 ratio. Again make sure to take proper measurements and mix the resin and hardener properly. Okay, so now let's take the hardener which will be 30 grams. So now let's mix it. So now again make sure to mix the resin and the hardener properly. And also make sure to remove any dust particles if they are already in there. Maybe in the cup or in the resin like this. Otherwise these particles will be there in the final product. So make sure to remove them. Scrape all the sides and the bottoms too. After mixing the resin and the hardener, next we are going to repeat the same process again. First we are going to pour some resin at the bottom. And after that we are going to spread it. make sure to cover the whole mold. The reason we are doing this is because after we put the photo there should be no bubbles left. If we don't do this and put the photo directly and then afterwards we pour the reason, then there will be air bubbles left and that will ruin the final product. So make sure to first pour some resin before and then put the photo afterwards. Okay, now next let's put the photo. After putting the photo, we are also going to add the text and the date. So let's add that. Now let's add the date at one side and then we are going to adjust it. Now after 
after adjusting the photo and the text we are going to add the remaining basil going to add some glitter for this i will use the pink one the silver glitter and some silver flakes because i think this will match the photo too so we are just going to add it like this here and there you can add whatever you like it's totally up to you i am going to go with this one Make sure to add everywhere. I will also add some rose gold flakes to the frame. And I'm going to spread it throughout like this. Make sure to work fast since the work time depends the work time is usually between 35 to 45 minutes so make sure to read the instructions behind your reason and hard no and work accordingly once everything is put nicely let's pour the leftover reason Once going to spread this again like this. Yes, that's it. So yes, guys, that's it. Now we are going to leave this to dry for 12 to 24 hours so that the resin gets completely cured, and then we will come back to this to demold it. So yeah. Also make sure to cover it with a box or anything else so that the resin artwork is protected from the dust particles. Okay, so now it is done for day one. Let's see after it cures. This is how the photo frame looks once it is demolded. This is the circle one and this is the heart shape. Just, they look so pretty. So just for the final touch now, we are going to paint both of these edges, both of the photo frame edges with this markers. And then our photo frame will be completely ready. So let's do it. So for the circle photo frame, I am going to paint these edges with a golden marker like this. Make sure to cover all the edges properly. This will look nice if we cover it properly and give our finishing look.
Now the second photo frame. So guys, this is the final result of our photo frames. Just look at them. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe my channel. As well as the links for all the products that I used are given down in the description below. So yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much for your time.